For this standby, I want to show you the physics of a couch. I know what you're thinking. There can't possibly be any physics in a couch. Except maybe Newton's first law. An object at rest stays at rest. But actually, there's a lot of physics in a couch. What makes a couch so comfortable is more than just the cushions. Beneath the cushions are a complex of springs. Normally, you can't see the springs, but if you jump on the couch like my son does, then you might start to see springs popping out from underneath, like this one. Let me show you more about how springs work. You may think I put that trampoline there as a prop, but it was actually sitting in my living room. The whole concept of a spring is this idea of a restoring force. The more you stretch it, the more the spring pulls back. So with a relatively small force, I can stretch it this much, but if I want to stretch the springs further, I have to push with even more force. And to go further, ah, more still. The tightness of that spring is measured by something we call the spring constant. That's what dictates how much force it takes to stretch the spring out. Springs must be carefully chosen so that that constant provides the right amount of supporting force for whatever load it's going to carry. The spring you put in your couch is going to be different than the spring you put in your car to smooth out a bumpy drive. So as an example, I bought this trampoline for my son so that he could jump up and down on it. But this trampoline was made for adults, so it has really strong springs. And my small little two-year-old, when he jumps on it, it hardly goes down at all. It's really not that much fun for him. But if I get on the trampoline, then it works great. So see, even the couch has physics and cookie cutters apparently. Stand by.